Time now to get you caught up on the latest coronavirus developments. There are now more than 1.2 million cases across the nation, and at last check, more than 73,000 deaths have been reported. Here in San Diego County, officials are reporting 159 new cases of COVID-19, bringing the total number of cases to 4,319. Sadly, we have eight new deaths, bringing the total to 158. An estimated 2,333 people have recovered, which is good to see that number going up. The coronavirus continues to have a major impact on job losses. Just this morning, the Labor Department released the latest unemployment numbers. This comes as Governor Newsom gets ready to make a big announcement here in just about an hour. That's expected to be good news for those who are without a job right now. We will be bringing that to you live, by the way. Let's get it out to Chris Grow now, who joins us live from Normal Heights with the details here. Chris. And Eric, right now the numbers across the nation and here in San Diego County are just staggering at this moment. We have uh, learned this morning that essentially th more than 3 million people filed for unemployment last week, which brings up the seven week total basically since the pandemic and the stay at home order started to go into effect to about 33 and a half million Americans filing for unemployment. Now, take a look at your screen right here. This is the San Diego County unemployment numbers. According to Sandag, who just filed this report, unemployment in our region is at 26.8%, and that's up from 3.4% in March of this year. So just a couple months, and already up to 26.8%. It's estimated that 400,000 jobs have been lost since March 7th in areas like Logan Heights, Golden Hill, San Ysidro, the college area, and City Heights have seen some of the highest proportion of their residents filing for unemployment. Now, in less than an hour, Eric, as you just mentioned, we expect to hear from Governor Gavin Newsom about how certain businesses can open back up and potentially hire back some of their workers that have either been laid off or put on furlough. Shops like florist, bookstores, sporting goods stores, and other retail shops can reopen for curbside pickup on Friday. However, there are going to need to be guidelines in place which will be set forth by the governor today. He will announce those guidelines and protocols that businesses across the state will have to follow, but we already know that the county of San Diego has put in place guidelines that they will follow and have some businesses have already started to implement to get a head start. Now, as for restaurants, where a large number of those that filed for unemployment are in the service industry, they obviously work in restaurants, bars, and other areas. According to Governor Gavin Newsom, it could be quite some time before those are ready for dine-in. The governor did say, though, that some counties could see variants in what is allowed by the state moving forward. But as for now, we are still waiting to see when those types of businesses can fully open. Now, as for close contact businesses like salons, gyms, um, tattoo two parlors, things of that nature. It could be up until phase three when those businesses are allowed to open according to the state. So it could be still some time before we see a full resurgence here in terms of businesses reopening. But for now, what will happen on Friday will likely help those unemployment numbers in several regions of our state, but also here in San Diego. Eric. Chris, thank you for that. Tomorrow, Chula Vista Parks will reopen for limited use. Walking, jogging, bicycling, and sitting on the grass will be allowed. Anything that can draw a crowd is still banned. That includes sport games, barbecues, birthday parties, playground equipment, and skate parks will remain closed as well as the bathrooms. People are also asked to wear their masks and stay six feet apart from each other. The CDC has just released a set of guidelines on opening up the economy safely, but it looks like the Trump administration will not be making it public. Skyler Henry has more details from the White House. The Centers for Disease Control researched and wrote a 17-page paper to guide local leaders on reopening businesses and public spaces, but the government is not releasing it. White House sources say coronavirus task force officials are concerned the paper may conflict with the messaging from President Trump. I've given the leeway to the governors. If I see something wrong, we'll stop it. But I have given leeway to the governors to make that decision. President Trump says he doesn't blame Americans who are pushing back against stay-at-home orders. We can't have our whole country out. We can't do it. Can't, the country won't take it. It won't stand it. It's not sustainable. And he says the country is now better prepared to deal with the virus. You know, this virus is going to disappear. 
It's a question of when. Will it come back in a small way? Will it come back in a, a fairly large way? In the midst of the pandemic, CBS News has learned senior officials, including the attorney general, tried to talk President Trump out of proceeding with a lawsuit that could dismantle the Affordable Care Act. Obamacare is a disaster, but we've run it very well. And we've made it barely acceptable. It was a disaster under President Obama, and it's very bad health care. Democrats say overturning the ACA would cause millions to lose their health insurance. How can the Republicans be thinking that this is the right moment in history to abolish the Affordable Care Act and the health insurance that 20 million Americans count on? The Supreme Court is scheduled to hear the case this fall. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And the deadline for the president to withdraw from the lawsuit passed on Wednesday. Uh, the Supreme Court's decision will not be released until 2021 after the inauguration.